today we're going to be looking at Arctic Fox in the color Aquamarine mixed with Virgin Pink. This mixture was actually voted on by you guys, so keep an eye out on my community tab if you want to participate in the next vote. So before we get started, I just want to say that these are human hair swatches, but the only one that's going to be virgin hair is the number four black swatch. The rest have been chemically dyed or bleached at some point in their lifetimes. Also, the numbers are not synonymous with hair levels. I do different pictures and clips near the end of the video, so the numbers just help us keep track of each swatch. One is green. I often get requests when I do like purples and stuff to do a green swatch, so that's what this is. Two is gray, three is a natural red, four again is black, and then four to 11 is a range that goes to platinum blonde, and then number 12 is kind of like a toned version of number 11. For my mix videos, I like to do at least two different mixes, so on the top will be one ratio and the bottom will be another ratio of these two colors mixed together. Oftentimes when I am mixing two colors together, the most requested thing is to do equal parts. So for the top part of these swatches, we are gonna be doing equal parts of virgin pink to aquamarine. Please keep in mind, everyone's hair is different, which means everyone's hair will take color differently. Plus different monitors and screens and such can make colors look a little off or different, like undertone especially. So please just use my video as a reference for how this could possibly turn out for you. For the bottom half, I was actually hoping for more of a purple, so I decided to do a 4 to 1 ratio. One part of the aquamarine to four parts virgin pink. We will have to compare, but to me this looks a lot like their purple AF color. So essentially it seems as though the aquamarine is a little bit more pigmented, so it takes over the pink, but it does make the blue that comes out like for the top half, a lot more cool toned. And the more virgin pink you add, the closer to a purple you'll probably get. Maybe even something like a magenta. As I was doing the voiceover, I was looking at the colors and I decided last second that I'm going to actually do three separate parts. So the last part's going to be one part of aquamarine to 16 parts virgin pink. I saw the potential in range that you could get from a very cool toned blue to a very like maybe magenta-y purple and I decided I wanted to show that as well. So that's what's going on the ends. All right, so I really wanna let the color absorb into the hair. So I'm gonna let these sit for about three hours. I will then rinse them out and when they're dry, I will meet you back here. 
So one of the biggest reasons I prefer to only do two mixes is because one, it makes it easier to see, and two, I don't have to do as many comparisons. But since we got such a wide variety of colors with this mix, I will do a comparison for each section. Both aquamarine and virgin pink are very pigmented dyes, so I think most people would have good luck with this mix. Uh, but one thing I have noticed is that darker hair tends to grab onto warmer tones better than cool tones, so while you can see a difference on like five and six for the top and middle, it's not enough to where I would recommend using this, whereas the mix with more virgin pink on the bottom, you can see a a lot more pink and it kind of changes the undertone of the hair a little bit better to where you can see the pink. So I think if you're looking at the blue and the cool toned purple, it does show up on number seven as well, but you probably would have better luck the lighter your hair is. Whereas with the more pinky purple section, you don't have to worry as much about having super light hair. Um, again, always do a strand test though. Especially with virgin hair, there's always that chance that the color, even if it takes to your hair, it might just wash out. So there's my warning. So number one was originally green. The top that was more blue actually looks so incredibly dark that it's like almost like a blue... I don't want to go as far to say black, but it's very dark. And even the more purpley section, it's not as dark looking as the top, but you can't really see a ton of purple coming through. Um, the bottom that looks more pinky on these swatches, the lighter swatches, does look a lot more purple on the green swatch, so I think you'd have better luck with that mix over green. Two is gray, and that one is usually a little bit more cool toned, which I would say is what happened here, but it's not really like a huge, huge difference. I think these two look a little bit darker, as well as the bottom, but the bottom doesn't look quite as pinky as the blonder swatches again. Number three was the natural red, and my critique is basically the same as it was with five and six. I think if you don't want to lighten your hair, trying the more pinky purple is going to give you probably something better of a result. And then nine through twelve doesn't really look incredibly different. I think the darker the hair gets, for the bluish section, it does start to lean a little bit green, so it kind of leans slightly more like teal looking, but otherwise that's the biggest difference that I've noticed. So let's go right into comparisons because I don't want this video to be super long. Okay, so for the blue section, we're going to start at the top and go down. We are going to do Lunar Tides in the color Blue Velvet. This is comparable to number 12, number 11. Number 10 and number 9. I felt like the diluted section for the Lunar Tides was a little bit distracting, so I put a piece of paper on top. I think the mixture does lean a slightly bit more cool toned than the Lunar Tides and slightly darker. I felt like the Lunar Tides was the closest in undertone, but I would say the overtone color in Extreme Blue was another close match. It just wasn't as dark, similar to the Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet's also pretty cool toned, but in comparison, it does seem to have just a touch more warmth. For the center section, we are going to look at Good Die Young in the color People Eater. This is comparable to number 12, number 11, number 10 and number nine. Once again, I put a paper down so it's less distracting. I didn't realize how cool tone the center was until I started looking for similar purples. At first, I thought the center was going to be similar to Arctic Fox's Purple AF, but Purple AF is much more warm toned in comparison. In some lights, the Good Die Young People Eater almost looks blue. Like when I did that video and I opened up the container, I thought it was a blue, and it wasn't until I put the dye on and I let it sit that I could see the purple tones really coming through. So both the mix and the Good Die Young do lean very, very cool toned. I think on the Platinum Blonde swatch, the Good Die Young is a little bit more saturated, whereas the mix looks maybe a little bit more muted. And for the ends, we are going to compare this to Arctic Fox's Purple AF. This is comparable to number 12, number 11, number 10, and number 9. 
I think the bottom mixture being next to such cool tones makes it look like it's super warm toned. Um, so I originally was going to compare it to Manic Panic's Purple Haze, which is one of the most warm toned purples I have, and that was way too warm in comparison. And actually the Purple AF was probably the most similar if we are considering undertone. Now Purple AF by itself leans way, way darker. So you can see once we lighten it up, the undertones are a lot more similar. So I think if you lightened up Purple AF, not quite as much as I did here, you might get a more similar color to the mix on the bottom. But I do see a little bit more warmth in the mix, so it's not quite as warm as the Purple Haze from Manic Panic. And Purple AF does seem to lean just a touch cooler. I just find that so funny because I honestly thought the bottom was going to look like Arctic Fox's Violet Dream, and it definitely does not. Violet Dream almost looks pink in comparison. All right, so now I'd like to get into our before and after clips. Those, as well as any other like photos or clips you see after this point in the video, will all be done in natural lighting. I hope my video helped. If you have a request, I do have a link below to a Google form you can fill out. Just remember, I only do brands that do not test on animals. Thank you so, so much to my patrons and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.